Fewer people are making phone calls these days, so the sound of your phone ringing might make you worry, especially if it's from your child's school. But as 13 on your side's Matt Gard found out, there are still some phone calls you'll be happy to get. I don't know which kid is sick or what happened. You know, is something wrong? No. Actually, nothing was wrong. I actually got a phone call for both Matthew and Lauren. Those are Kimberly Nowak's kids. They called to tell me how great they're doing in school. They're doing awesome things at Alpine Elementary. They just want to let us know that they're proud of them. Alpine teachers borrowed the idea. I, I saw it from a friend on social media that her child had received a call. Um, and I was like, that's a really cool idea. That kind of positivity. Making them feel seen and feel important. Was just the solution their school needed. With COVID, we haven't been able to connect with families. You know, we don't, we don't see them anymore in the building, and it's sad. We miss them. Every teacher participated. Who did you think you wanted to celebrate? They made 100 positive calls on the 100th day of school. Who did you notice doing positive things in the classroom or outside of the classroom? It was a moving gesture for parents. A couple of them cried. They were just so happy to hear because they had been worried about their child. It's like, thank you so much for like taking the time to do this. They've learned small acts of kindness. Made me feel great. Can make a big difference. It's very nice to get a call that you're being recognized for the good things they're doing in school as well. The Alpine Elementary teachers plan to do this throughout the year until every parent gets a call. They're also hoping other schools will join them in spreading positivity. The American Psychological Association finds out that making phone calls and video chats can create stronger bonds than texting. So, Juliet, if you'll excuse me, I've got a phone call to make. <laughs> Good idea. Thank you, Matt.